guys, what is up? It is I, James Penrose here, back again for my next video, welcome. And in this video I'm going to be covering a rumoured match for WrestleMania 32. I've already talked about the rumours on who The Undertaker could possibly go up against, whether it's The Rock, Sting, John Cena, Kevin Owens, all that jazz. You can find that video on my channel, it's there. Um, and I'll put the link in the description if you can't, can't find it. But um, in this particular video, I'm going to be covering a match that I think it's safe to say at this point it's going to happen. And I'm personally looking forward to it. It's going to be my thoughts on the potential match between Bray Wyatt going one-on-one -on -one with the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Now, I think it's safe to say, again, it's going to happen. They're probably going to start this build-up at Fastlane during the triple threat main event match between Reigns, Ambrose and Lesnar because everyone's predicting that the Wyatt family is going to come out in that match, screw over Brock Lesnar just like they did at the Royal Rumble match when they just put themselves in the, in the, in the ring and eliminated Lesnar and attacked him. And that's what everyone's predicting. And I'm going to say now, Bray Wyatt and Brock Lesnar, this match I know is going to be a good match. So don't expect this to be a stink fest because... Bray Wyatt, he's had great feuds and great matches in the past. If it's with The Undertaker, John Cena, Chris Jericho, Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns at Hell in a Cell, that was a good match as well. He's had great matches in the past. He's a phenomenal talent. So for people that saying that this match is going to suck, I, I don't believe that. I believe this will be a good match. And Brock Lesnar, he's a phenomenal athlete as well. He's had great matches in the past too. So these two, and it's a first time match as well. And don't always keep that in mind. Whenever a match is happening first time, I always want to see it. Because, like, with the same matches over and over again, because WWE has a tendency with, like, throwaway pay-per-views or just Monday Night Raw to have the same matches over and over again 10 billion times with Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch on Raw and freaking Kevin Owens and Dolph Ziggler. You know, little stuff like that that pisses me off. So, when it comes to WrestleMania, this is a match when it, in terms of the wrestling that I'm looking forward to. Here's where... I'm on the fence with it though. This is where everyone kind of gets negative about this match. This, in my opinion, is Bray Wyatt's last chance and the Wyatt family's last chance because Bray Wyatt, I, I've been saying it in my past videos and I will say it again, Bray Wyatt has been booked so inconsistently, it's unbelievable. It really is unbelievable how WWE shows us that, oh, we have plans for Bray Wyatt, we're going to put him in this feud and he's going to have a good uprising in his career and he's going to be put up to main event status. And what happens? He just goes and loses to John Cena, go loses to Undertaker, go loses to Roman Reigns, you know. And it's always a time where you think Bray Wyatt's gonna do good, and then he's gonna do good, and and so on and so on. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly getting sick and tired of that. And that's what everyone else is worried about: the fact that if this match is in fact gonna happen, Brock Lesnar is gonna beat Bray Wyatt, and once again it's gonna be the same old pattern: Bray Wyatt loses and then becomes no one again. And that's the thing too. Who the hell wants to see Bray Wyatt lose a, lose a third Mania match in the row? He's already lost to John Cena at WrestleMania 30. He's already lost to The Undertaker at WrestleMania 31. If he was to lose this year at WrestleMania 32 versus Brock Lesnar, I'm I'm almost going to guess that that's the end of Bray Wyatt. Where do you, you can't build Bray Wyatt back up from that. This is only it's it's a win lose situation. If Bray Wyatt win, and let's be honest, Brock Lesnar can survive a loss. He, he can, you know, he's beat the Undertaker. He broke the Undertaker's streak for fuck's sake. That's the biggest. That's the biggest accomplishment in WWE history, in my opinion. Forget winning the world title from John Cena. This was a hundred times bigger. The Undertaker's streak that was way bigger than any championship, any accolade. Brock Lesnar broke that streak. So, in my opinion, Bray Wyatt going over against Brock Lesnar. Do you think that's going to hurt Brock Lesnar? In my opinion, no fucking chance. You have to do it right. That's all I'm going to say. Do it right. You can have Brock Lesnar lose and still look strong. You know what I mean? He, I mean, he's a, he's a beast incarnate for fuck, fuck's sake. I mean, you're calling that for a reason, right? Um, so, when it comes to this match, I'm expecting a good match. But, in my opinion, again, like I say, it can only go one way. It has to go only one way. Bray Wyatt has to win. It's a must-win situation for Bray Wyatt. If Brock Lesnar wins, as much as I like Brock Lesnar, I'm a Brock Lesnar fan, I'm sure you are too. But it's a, it's one of them things where if Brock Lesnar wins, Bray Wyatt is done. Th and that's when I give up on Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt has to win. If Brock Lesnar wins, I am going to shit all over this match. And I'm sure everyone else will. And that's why everyone doesn't want this match to happen. Because it's suicide for Bray Wyatt. It's suicide, not just for him, but the fucking whole Wyatt family in general. If Braun Strowman is going to fucking fight the dead man at WrestleMania. Which, again, no one on the planet wants to see that match. So, when it all comes down to it, guys, Bray Wyatt must win. And then after that, 
I say at Extreme Rules, have him fight Roman Reigns for the World Heavyweight Championship. Because we all know they're going to do Triple H versus Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is going to win that. So I say have Bray Wyatt beat Brock Lesnar. And, and that's another thing as well. Up the ante with this match as well. It's a first time match. So make it more spicy. I say do, I don't know. And leave your comments and thoughts down below. Tell me what stipulation they think you, sh you think they should put on it. But me personally, I would love to see uh, Ambulance match. Last Man Standing match. Hell, maybe a Hell in a Cell match. Like, do something crazy. I mean, you are marketing this WrestleMania as the biggest WrestleMania of all time, right? 105,000 people at the at t Stadium. You want to accomplish that, right? Then go out of the blue with this. With the, just go all out with this. Every match, just go all out. Put all the effort you can into this. And with this match, I say put a big stipulation on it. Like I said, ambulance match, last man standing match, Hell in a Cell steel cage, whatever you got to do. Make this match, sell this match perfectly. But again, if Brock Lesnar wins, you fucked up with Bray Wyatt big time. And that's the final straw. That's that's three strikes, in my opinion. John Cena was the fit. Well, actually, there kind of already has been three strikes. One with John Cena, one with Tick, and one with Roman Reigns. So the fact that Bray Wyatt's even... I don't, I don't know, man. It's just Bray Wyatt has to win. I don't know how anyone can see Brock Lesnar winning is a good choice just because he's Brock Lesnar and he's the beast. No, I mean, he can survive a loss. He can. He can. He can lose and still look strong. Have Bray Wyatt put... The sister Abigail and Lesnar put on submission and, you know, Lesnar passes out but doesn't tap out or anything like that. And have Bray Wyatt have, like, hit him with sister Abigail three or four times. Because, let's face it, one or two sister Abigails will not be enough to put Lesnar away. Because, you know, tombstones, you know, FUs and all that haven't been able to put Lesnar away from one or two attempts. So, you know, obviously it's going to take a lot of time for Bray Wyatt to get a victory. But that, that's the realistic outcome. Brock Lesnar should be booked as a beast, not a guy that should be humanised. Or someone that should be made to look weak on just one night. You know, that's stupid. So, I'm looking forward to this match. It's going to be a good match. I have no doubt in my mind. And I'm grateful for that aspect. The storyline aspect, I don't know how they're going to go with it. I'm pretty sure that's going to start at Fastlane in the main event. Because it's inevitable that they're going to screw over Brock Lesnar. So, you know, don't, don't, don't be shocked if that happens. Everyone's predicting it, man. So, that's what I think should happen. Bray Wyatt should beat Brock Lesnar, then go on to maybe win the world title at Extreme Rules from Roman Reigns, or maybe Dean Ambrose, because we all want Dean Ambrose to be in the main event now, not Roman Reigns, because they've completely ruined this main event between Roman Reigns and Triple H. So, once again, for the third year in a row, they're in a predicament where they have to change the main event in some way where the fans can get invested. Like, how do they manage that? Like, honestly, how does WWE manage to screw up a main event for WrestleMania, whether it's at the Royal Rumble, or the night after the Royal Rumble on a certain Monday Night Raw, or just at a fast late... I, I don't know how they fucking manage it. It pisses me off. It really does. So, honestly, guys, leave your thoughts and comments down below. Tell me what you think should happen for Bray Wyatt versus Brock Lesnar. Do you think Bray Wyatt should go for the world title at Extreme Rules after WrestleMania. Just leave your thoughts and comments down below. Tell me what you think. So other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you guys like this video, comment on this video, and the most important thing is to subscribe to my channel. I would love that very much. And all I can say is, peace out, my brothers.